And yo, what's up, two time players? We getting down. Scratch. Let's do it. Ooh. Let's make like a. A Sassy Von Sus Sussery. Sassy Von Sussery. So I'm going to get. Sure, that. Some of this. So. That's pretty cool. Turn on different from B. This is my usual, like, uh, routine. Turn this to something long. I like that. Let's get some more movement. Like if somebody can move this like this. Same thing with this. Boy, some of that hot chicken. Dang, boy. Let's do some drive. Let's do some resi. See, we're just doing a lot of movies. Not movies, but movement. Such a noise. Sub. Turn that down. Yeah, direct into that. Yo. What you know about that? Some of these, some of those. Okay. So. This needs to be like. Okay, let's go to some distortiones. Diode 2. This. Turn the noise down a little. I like that one. Cool. Let's see here with some phaser. That's cool. Let's add this to the mix. So it goes from dry to wet. That's the wobbly boy, eh? That's pretty cool. Let's add a reverb in there. Decay down. Eyes down. Whoa. That's cool. Like if the intro started like that and then we just slowly bring this down as it's as the drop starts to come closer, you know? I don't know this song. Though. I feel like just putting this like underneath and then like a chug on top. <laughs> That might be dope. Let's try. Let's get OTT though, real quick. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's just add another sound now. Sarah McBoy, where are you at today? Alright, so let's just do like this. Go with like a square and then like use the reverb filter to make, make a cool sound, right? Um, distortion, of course. Turn this off real quick. 
Okay, so I want to make like a blippy squarey. So like. Let's try that and then turn this up. Go to reverb. Turn it on. Yeah, something like that. And then get like a loud rack. Okay, so let's get F from B. Turn this down. No, I won't do that. Let's leave this up. That's some noise. Let's turn up these. I'm really just looking around for tones and sounds I like. Kind of like this. Let's get a little phase up. That's pretty sick. Real quick, put it into a little loopy loopy. Know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start listening to what the sounds sound like together. It's pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to write it in because you know what I'm saying. As you see, I'm just lining them up to the closest line, even if it's like a triplet line. You don't have to do this. But I like it. So 
So like, let's EQ all these bases real quick. And I kind of imagine like a distorted sub underneath. So we'll delete this sub. Add the adjustment distorted sub. Do two. I don't even remember what they sound like, so we're going to listen right now. Jesus. Number one. Sounds pretty sick with it. So without. With. Ableton's automatically recording, so just press this. Do this. Oh yeah, what you know. Let's turn down this release. This is all the way down, but... Okay, cool. And then this, we can start making loud to them. Loud. I'm going to add a different loud rack now. My loud rack. We're going to turn off the other loud rack, though. Turn it off. Delete it. Cool. There's not really reverb on this, so I'm going to get some verb. We could try something. Add a compressor. Turn it all the way up, all the way down. Turn on sidechain compression, and then we could bring it from Bogger. And then let's. So every time this plays, this will turn down in volume. So it'll open space up for this. So let's, let's hear what this sounds like. So this is without the effect, and then to turn it on, you go down the threshold. The release needs to be short too. That's, that's pretty sick. Okay, let's try a different pattern now. Yeah, boy. Just messing around with patterns, seeing what rhythms I like or whatever. So you see, I duplicated the one, now I'm like changing up the pattern in this second section. That needs to be triplet though, not this one. Triple E! 
Dun 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 dun. Okay, let's add some kicks and snares to start kind of hearing what things are going to be sounding like or whatever. No really plans, just making sounds and then putting them together and eventually we'll just like spread things out and have a song sometime. We'll get the sidechain in here. You know what I'm saying? Pretty nice. Add it to the that one too. Do little D's. Do little D's. Little D's. Do little D's. Do little D's. Do a little D. Oh. You know what? I'm not going to do a rhythm pattern right now. I'm just feeling like trap pattern. Let's try it. Okay, but we got to do... Cool. And then, like, look, you could get automation and, like, turn off second, certain sections of your bases, like this. Same with the sub. And then in these little sections, guess what you add? A vocal. Simply and unconditionally. Baseline skank. Baseline skanker. And you could even chop it up. Who cares? Baseline skanker. You know what I'm saying? Skanker. Skanker. And then what you want to do is make sure it's warped. You grab the last. Well, make sure this is a warp marker. So you click it. And then you'll move it. Skanker. Skanker. Turn on the metronome. Skanker. 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 Then turn it on Complex Pro to start pitching it down. So it sounds good when it's pitched down. Skanker. 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 To add more high. Frequencies, turn up the formants. Denka, 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 denka. Same. Listen. Denka. Boom. And then, so we'll basically do this in a different section. We'll do it at the end. You can do a simple one of these. You, you could have just copied and pasted, honestly, but whatever. Take this kick out. Now I want to add like another bass layer. Like just cha 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 cha. It's just something chopping underneath. We could even do some audio, right? I like to get the Dawn's pack and then we can like chop something up. That sound right there. Third sound. Bop, boom. Okay, so this is an E flat. So E flat is E down. So E flat is right here, which is D sharp. And we need to get to D. So that means we just transpose down one. Easy. Do a little complex pro. You only leave it in beats for like drum loops and drums. Go on. Can add a little loud rack real quick. Okay, and we can kind of chop it up and see what that sounds like. So it's like kind of adding just an extra sound, like on an offbeat. 
and then like we could move it to the right, you know. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at the end. Yeah, see, when you incorporate the silence and then add like a little vocal to fill it out, it just lots of impact. Let's check that out again. We're gonna turn up this more high end. I'll leave it off for now, but just the JST clip is on, clipping at zero on the master. I'll turn this one down to negative 12, and then we'll pitch it down one again. Oh yeah, that's the sound right there. Okay, cool. Now, now when you have a little loop like this, you're like, oh, what to do? Well, you want to start adding different sounds and new variations. So, copy and paste this. Let's listen to what we have. Okay. Anytime you're making this, you want to listen back and you'll kind of like imagine or you'll know what you want to add next just based on uh, the way that it's flowing, right? Because everything's just moving. So we'll start chopping this up. Yep. We'll get a different uh vocal now. Out some of people that be love Boston sounds on a rule boy take Boston. Are you ready for the rough? Actually, let's move this and like it's all pitched down already, so we can like kind of chop up another sound of this. Let's hear what we got. Them shaker, them shake, shake, ganker, gank, shaker, them shaker. We get shaker. Shake, 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 shaker. Shaker. Cool. You get this. Chop it. I'm pressing Command E, by the way, to chop. Command C. Command V. I'll chop this, and then we'll make sure that it's it's warped. You know. Shaker. 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 Remember, make sure your first one is good. It's fine if this is like this. And then you can move it like this, so this stays in place. Shaker. Shaker, 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 shaker. So you know what I'm saying? Shaker. Cool. And this is already pitched down. We could even do more if we want. Shaker, shaker. Yeah. And let's listen. Shaker. Okay, cool. So I kind of want the same, like, Section like this section to be right here. Then I'm gonna start moving these little. So we'll, we'll get this Command J to consolidate them. Command D to duplicate. Same thing. Shaker. Okay, cool. Let's add some more drums, like some rides and some. I have this cool 626 ride. That's fire. Check this one. Okay, so we're going to layer this ride. And then this one. And then 
I'm going to duplicate this so we can have like fast rides, but this one will be turned down. We can add uh, the velocity, just humanize the rides basically. Go like this, and then with this, like this. And then with these, we can kind of like move them. So this will go right, this can go left. So this is too fast, actually. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think this will be better. It sounded weird because the sidechain is getting on some and it's not getting on others, but it's fine. We could just turn this down. So I'm going to turn these down. Now we're going to add like a crash. Like a big one. Like every other one, like that. That's cool. Cool. All right, now I that was when a good time to save, right? Call this unrecognizable. Actually, no. Let's call it. The red print. Actually, no. Let's call it Big Dog version 3.4. Nope. Let's call it Green Goblin. Done. It's a done deal. Okay, cool. Now. We can kind of start mixing these a little bit. Nice. And then also what you can do is start layering the main lead. So we can listen to what it sounds like with other sounds. And what we can do is like mess with this. We could turn off the reverb too because the other one has reverb. We don't want to keep stacking reverbs. That trash. You can also make it longer. Is it short? Like make it longer. Add trash. Maybe this plateau. So, there's actually a wide bass that I think would sound better. I think it's wide boy, yeah. So I'm going to put it like on a recorder note. I think, it, okay, something else is playing there. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. So this is adding like the wide base that we need because everything's so mono right now. We really need it to step up the game right now. Oh, I like that.
So command A, command U to contact. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm turning things off, turning things down, just listening to how everything sounds. What I'm hearing is this is like taking up too much. We're gonna have to like clean this up. Boy, am I getting some tinnitus right now. I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna add sync in a window. Two times, take out the bases. Cool to see I duplicated it all again, and then we can make a second phrase. We can definitely take out this. Start messing with this. Like, I'm gonna go maybe like this. Do a little bouncy with the wide base. Hmm. Sounds sick. Shake up. We can add another sustain right here. Listen to what that sounds like. I just made a new one in my last video. Treatment base sustain. Yeah, sus down. Ooh. Oh. Shake off. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Shake up. We want that, we want this to like, go more, more like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh! Okay. Shake up. Maybe we just go into rhythm drums right here. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Let's hear it. Shake off. Shake off. 
Shake up. Hey, I'm thinking like turn off, automate this. Maybe like right here. Needs a big, big bass right there. We can make a growl real quick. Get like, let's get the, okay. Let's do basic shape, right? And then we'll get something dirty, like a monster. Turn them down. Turn this on. Make sure Ephraim from B is on. Go distortion. Okay, now we can. Just looking for tones that I like, right? Now we're going to add some movement. We'll add that flange minus later. We'll add the movement with the high notch. Now. Set trigger real quick. We're going to make these touch. Like that. Let's do a different type of. Let's make it a hat. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Two different types. Let's listen to different distortions. Ooh. So then we can get right here. Command Shift M. Write it in D. Hold Shift. Arrow down. This is going to be. Why is it only. What's going on? It won't play it? What? What? Is it really only a bar? Uh, is it off? What's going on? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. That's pretty cool. Turn the sub on though. Right here, direct out. Maybe some noise too. And then dripment stereo fix to end it off. And we could add a little bit of OTT. Because, I mean, who doesn't like a little bit of OTT up in this model? I'll put up. Time up, mount 80. 
shake up. I just want this to chop. Alright, so this clap is so weak, so we're gonna add like a snare to layer on top of it. Get these. Go down to somewhere like these. Look at this. Add a little verb, of course. Short decay, maybe like 700. It's too tight. I want it to be less tight. If you know what I'm saying, though. I want the clap to come in maybe just like only on the fourth. We'll turn on the glue compressor to make it louder. Wow.
Wow. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So straight up. It's like been 45 minutes, I think. This is how I like start a song, basically. This is a drop. Eventually, I'm going to make this drop sound even cooler and harder. Then I'll start the, with the build. You guys want to see me complete this song? Let me know in the comments so we can finish this. Otherwise, I hope you learn some cool stuff. I'm Tripman. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace out, boys. Later. I'm late over there. <laughs>